Hey guys, Lancer here. Hope everyone's doing well. I just wanted to have a quick video talking about what's happening with the reserve list cards again. Now, the main reason why we've taken kind of a bit of a break from focusing on the reserve list is they've been doing what you'd expect them to do for the last couple of months. Now, we had that big leg up from July 2020, and ever since then, for the revised dual lands, they've been moving up pretty steadily. But... <clears throat> The main reason why I wanted to bring this up now is because there's a turning point that usually happens when we get to a peak level at these markets. And that usually means that they hit a point where no one else is buying them and the prices that they're selling for on, or on some of the big card game retailers is quite a bit lower than what people were buying just a couple of months ago. Now, a clear example of this is the average price is what's usually listed, maybe not what sells, but what's usually listed in certain websites. And you can see that the average price always seems to pick up or go ahead of what the market price is at that point. And once it reaches that, it kind of brings down the market price as people start realizing they're having trouble selling their stock at the price they expected because not everyone keeps these cards. Some of them use them to buy, sell, turn them into dollars, turn them into other assets. So you wouldn't expect people to always hold on to these, especially when they've been such insane, insane spikes. There's a lot of money behind some of these moves. Now, it could obviously just be Rudy, a couple of handful of investors coming in, picking everything up. And that means the market might not drop as much as you think, but it should stabilize unless the monetary system, which is the actual system that we currently have running, to try to keep everything afloat says everyone gets another certain amount of hand, um, handouts i guess you know stimulus stimulus checks so is there going to be another stimulus checks or check coming in the near future or are we expecting something else to keep this rally going that started in the middle of june last year you can let me know in the comments below, but I'm going to just continue going on with what my proof is that we've hit what feels like a peak and we're going to start flatlining for at least the near future while the market catches up with its current price. Now you can see some of these cards had a massive spike up and that usually is a sign of a top as well. And they had a spike up in the market price as well, which is crazy. You'd expect this kind of stuff to happen in stocks, but... You know, there has been a lot of places that have treated MTG stocks like magic cards or stocks. So, and people can buy them out in that second that they are on a big YouTube site, uh, like commander quarters or command quarters and everything like that. So these cards can sell out fast, which means they can move fast as well or faster than people expect. You can see here for Scrublands, we had a jump in 2018 and then a flatline. Then we had a stimulus announcement, I assume, May 16th, flatlined after that for a little bit. Then we had a second stimulus, predicted that, moving back up. Then it started flatlining. And then, in June, well, at least for Scrublands, July 18th to July 26th, that was another, uh, what feels like almost 30% increase or 25% increase of Scrublands prices. And then it started flatlining again once it hit its average price. So every now and then it does the same thing where it crosses over the average and then dips back down, touches the average, flatlines, touches the average, most likely will dip or flatline for the next near couple of months, unless something changes. Currently, I can't think of anything. Next, revised edition Tiger. Now, this is another one where it constantly kept bumping off its market average. And then the market moved above the average price. And now it looks like it's coming back down to either test it and probably flatline or, you know, drop down. Like I said before, I'd be surprised if this drop that's coming doesn't help stabilize the market a bit unless another stimulus is announced. You can even check. This actually is something that you can see quite easily in the priced boxes. Okay, yeah, sure. This is a stupidly priced box. $418,000. I don't even think you can get them for that kind of price, even if you could. Uh, the individual cards would be more expensive than um, the box. Wait, would it? 
possibly would add up, but you had you had taken it apart, so it's not as worth it. So you can see that it took a massive spike around about. Uh, this doesn't actually make as much sense, but it took a massive spike. Most likely, a lot of speculations, a lot of up and downs, and now it's starting to drop back down. You can see it for Alpha, but Alpha had a massive spike around about July, June, June 2021. Unlimited, much easier to predict. October 2020, it all started moving up and then hit a peak. And now it's on its way back down slowly. Revised as revised edition as well. It's even easier to follow. April 20, stimulus was announced, started peak, dropped back down. January 21st, stimulus was announced, brought, took, took off again. Hit two tops, dropped back down. Now it might not go down much further than $7,123 which is the average price of everything here. But you can see that the declining cards is 120. The rising cards is 114, which means there is a lot more decline in the revised edition than there is rising cards. You can let me know what you think about this. Now, the next thing that I would want to keep an eye on is the dollar index. Now, I've talked, to a lot of, I've talked on this channel a lot about the dollar. The dollar is one of those things that you'd really want to watch out for. Because as the dollar gets stronger, everything that's valued against it, which is pretty much everything currently, drops down in value because you need less dollars to buy it. No matter how much that doesn't make sense because of how much they printed, they actually haven't really printed money. They've inflated it, but taxpayers have to pay that money back in some way in the future, which means if you're a taxpayer, you're probably going to have less money in your pockets in the next couple of years than you would have before 2020 actually happened. You know what I mean? So... Keep an eye on the dollar index. The easiest way to keep an eye on that is to probably look at like Euro USD, which doesn't look strong at all, but there is a very strong line of resistance that goes back to 1.15. It's hailing. Um, you can also look at the AU, AUD USD. If it hits this $70, $70 for the AUD and stays above it, which it should, it may have a chance to go back up, touch some other number around about 74 maybe, and then drop back down if something happens like a black swan. So something has to happen for that to change drastically. But if the Federal Reserve starts tapering or anything announcements like that, that's something else to watch out for because that means less money in circulation. Interest rates might rise up. If his interest rates rise up, that means the value of the dollar and most other the currencies can increase which then decreases the value of cards. It's kind of the way that we're thinking right now. We're thinking that the dollar and the currencies around the world are getting weak, which means it's better to not be in them, which means you buy things that are cards and stuff. But what if the other way happens, which is the currencies are getting stronger, which means that if you sell a $600 card now, in a couple more months, your $600 will be worth more so you can buy that card back for cheaper. Economies and Federal Reserves and governments do not like that because that's deflation without an increase in money supply, which means that people are going to have to work for less, for more money. It's a weird situation. Governments don't normally like that. But what I'm saying is if inflation is something that countries around the world are getting worried about, the Federal Reserve is getting kind of you know, dragged on the calls for, then they might do something that will cause the interest rates or at least cause some changes in the dollar value to go up, which means that prices of certain assets might actually come down. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think about this because I'm very interested to see if we're about to hit a peak in the revised and reserve list cards. Thanks again and have a good one. See ya.